Out here, the world speaks a language without words, you just have to learn how to listen. Stand before a cliff face, ancient rock scarred by a white streak of quartz, shattered in places. These aren't just cracks, they're clues, signposts on a secret map that can lead to riches. Every fracture and stain tells a story of immense power, of the Earth's bones shifting over millennia. These forces created pathways, arteries for superheated mineral-rich fluids from deep within the planet. Within those fluids gold, the secret isn't to wander, but to find these ancient highways. Old-timers knew this. They saw that gold followed patterns, appearing where the ground looked wounded. They were reading the Earth's story, following the faults. With modern knowledge we can turn their instincts into science. The land is a treasure map, waiting to be deciphered. The real challenge isn't just survival, it's observation and deduction. Look at the shape of the hills, the lines of the creeks, the scars on the rocks. The gold is the destination but the fault is the path that leads you there. What is a fault? For a prospector, it's a word full of promise. The Earth's crust is a jigsaw of massive blocks pushing and shoving. A fault is a fracture where movement has happened. These aren't just cracks, they're complex zones of broken rock called fault zones. Fault zones are channels more permeable than solid rock letting fluids surge upward. Deep below, hot water dissolves minerals including gold and rises through these faults. As the fluid nears the surface, pressure and temperature drop, forcing minerals to precipitate out and form veins. The fault is both pipeline and host, delivering and depositing gold. In the field, you're not just looking for gold, you're looking for the structures that control it. Finding a major fault is like finding the main artery, smaller veins branch off from there. It's a systematic hunt, and the fault is your primary target. The gold isn't created in the fault, but the fault concentrates it. Hydrothermal fluids use these cracks as express lanes, the key to unlocking the puzzle, follow the faults. That's how you find the treasure. Not all faults are equal. Some are ancient and buried, but others, quaternary faults are young and active. These fresh trails have moved in the recent geological past and might move again. For prospectors, that's exciting. Recent movement means new opportunities for gold. Quaternary faults can lift old gold veins closer to the surface, shatter them, or create new pathways for gold-bearing fluids. Each movement exposes more gold, which rain and rivers wash into placer deposits. On your maps, target quaternary or active faults, their clues are clearer and the prize could be much closer. Finding a fault isn't about spotting a giant crack, it's about reading subtle signs. Look for straight valleys, aligned saddles or sudden mountain fronts, nature's fingerprints of a fault. Creeks making sharp turns may be following fault zones. Up close, search for fault breccia, shattered rocks cemented by minerals, and slick insides, polished surfaces showing movement. Color changes, red, orange, yellow stains, signal mineral-rich water has passed through. Use geological maps to find known faults, especially quaternary ones. Let the map guide you, then use your eyes to pinpoint the fault on the ground. The map gets you close, your skills find the treasure. The fault is the highway, but gold needs a trap to stop and accumulate. Traps form where the fault changes direction, intersects another fault, or meets a different rock type. Pressure drops or rock changes force gold to precipitate out, often at contact zones. Sometimes the fault narrows, squeezing out minerals. Gold is often scattered as tiny particles in a halo around the main vein. Look for bends, rock contacts, or fault intersections. These are X marks the spot. Don't just check the main crack, sample the rock on either side. Understanding these traps helps you focus your search and save time. The story doesn't end with hard rock. Faults influence rivers and hillsides where placer gold is found. As mountains erode, gold is freed and carried downhill into creeks. The richest placer deposits are almost always downstream from gold-bearing faults. If you find gold in a river, trace it upstream. Follow the trail until it leads to the source fault. Faults can also move rivers, leaving old gold-rich gravels high on hillsides, bench placers. Don't just focus on the water, look for ancient riverbeds above. Success is about changing your mindset. Look for the structures that control the gold. The fault is the key to the whole story. Learn to read the land, and you're no longer relying on luck. You're following a map written by the earth. Get out there, read the signs, and let the faults show you the way.